Good morning everyone, this is the Audi Q8 e-tron 55 um, and today I'm gonna do a little range test and also we talk about everything about this car. Uh, I'm happy it's charging because two days ago on Friday I tried to charge this car on five different CCS chargers but it didn't work. I don't know why. Um, it was a Ionity here, it was exactly this charging station then on two different hyperchargers a Siemens charger and a 50 kilowatt triple charger everywhere I got a communication error AC worked and then yesterday I tried it on a weird CCS charger 30 kilowatt at a car dealer and it worked and today at Ionity it does work too but I plugged in at 92 percent I'm guessing the battery is cold even though it's 10 12 degrees I only get 14 kilowatt that's not amazing we'll see if we charge to 100 percent it might take way too long I'm here for 18 minutes charged from 92 to 95 percent this car charge is amazing but not I guess above 90 percent when the battery is cold but let's talk about some data uh, we have a 114 kilowatt hour battery, 106 kilowatt hours can be used, it's a 400 volt system, we have 300 kilowatt all wheel drive, 408 horsepower, 200 kilometers an hour top speed, 5.6 seconds, 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. What's the dial? Charging uh, AC 22 kil 20 kilowatt, I had 19.6 or so, um, uh, DC should be peak around 170 kilowatt what's our WTP range it's 481 to 582 kilometers I never know what that is <laughs> because it's two numbers but I can see when you drive this car slow it can have good range but today when we go 130 it won't have that and when we drive I talk about everything the space how it feels what negative what's the positive because it has of, uh, one big negative and a lot of good things as you can see 12 kilowatt at 96 percent charge port uh, is on the left uh, isn't wasn't it on the right on the previous version am i wrong and because on the right there is a, a only an ac uh, type 2 charging plug and here is this and if you want to unlock the the, the 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 cable it doesn't go off automatically it can but if you want to stop charging you press this and it will stop charging it's a gigantic car I feel it, it is a bit high even though it's in efficient, efficiency mode right now and it has 255 uh, winter tires on uh, I've already noticed consumption is a bit higher when you go drive a bit even though I don't push it uh, the trunk is amazing because it doesn't beep and the button is a bit weird it goes pretty fast and it doesn't beep I love it nobody needs the beeping and we have a lock button here I like that too not just close the trunk also lock button the rear seats have all the space in the world really every space that you can want two USB-C's in the bottom 12 volt outlet air vents a little pocket and very nice interior with a nice ambient light and say ambient ambient light <laughs> we have memory seats for both seats in the front the screens and everything we do when we drive we have a pocket down here and you can open this for more um, overall it feels a bit full but everything serves its purpose and here's that other plug you open always with this button oh doesn't work when you're charging i guess huh doesn't way here you can already see the beautiful can I not zoom yes I can the beautiful head-up display very sharp very bright I can see all what you need but not too much I love that I, I don't want to be cluttered and have stuff that I don't need at all 
I'm driving 135 because that's GPS speed 130. Only drove 20 kilometers so for consumption is high because of the hill as always. On the steering wheel left we have our view of this instrument cluster. Can be on different things. Navigation is in there as well where you can see everything then we can have different views and even in the in the cock in the infotainment system you can switch it to a, another view where the bottom thing uh, speed and what power you use is then round and small and of course you can switch the info in the middle short ter short uh, term memory long term memory consumption range the date because the uh, one thing that's missing here in the instrument cluster is the state of charge. You can see your battery there, but you don't see the state of charge as a number. For that, you have to go here and press the charging symbol and then you get your state of charge 90%. Cruise control is down here with this extra lever and self-steering you turn on with the button here on the side. Down here you have your climate, all the settings you need, your drive modes, uh, parking sensor, self-parking, uh, assist system and everything. Your gear selector is here, your parking brake which engages automatically, your volume and music on and off. Uh, you have a few shortcuts here for the head-up display and everything and then up here you have your normal your normal system where you can do all of your settings. I have my climate in 22 and a half degrees on auto. I can't see what the consumption of the heat is, no idea. And I started at 97%, not at 100, it took too long. is the Audi e-tron on a long distance trip on the highway. Overall it's really great, very comfortable, suspension is awesome, I love it um, and when you're in when you're driving on a country road and you don't and you have it a bit in dynamic mode or something where the suspension is a bit stiffer it's even it's it's great on the country road as well but on the highway even in efficiency mode it's really really nice. It's quiet in here um, I love that. Um, climate works fine. Uh, cruise control is uh, holds the speed not perfectly. Sometimes it goes over, sometimes it drives a bit slower, but that's fine. Uh, what I noticed on the country road, it's amazing that it slows down early and even earlier than in other cars. I've seen that in other cars that even when you have a distance very low, uh, very short, uh, it's still uh, slows you down when you're a bit away from the next car and on the highway it, that's mostly way too early on the country road it's fine because you're not gonna pass but what I noticed in this car it's even further so it's really far away so three four hundred meters uh, where in other cars it's 200 meters or so which is still too far in on the German highway because you're going as close as possible 50 meters or so and then go out to pass that you don't not are not unnecessary on the left lane um, so that's it self-steering on the highway amazing uh, what I noticed when I hold it here on the left uh, it doesn't recognize my touch so I have to be a bit more here in the middle than it and recognizes me um, but that's fine. On the country road I noticed a few times that it's a bit jerky and a bit frantic. So you're driving and then suddenly it's doing left, right, steering, 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 steering and, and uh, uh, where nothing special has happened and, and that's, that's not so nice so they could be better. I'm not a fan that I cannot see my state of charge in the instrument cluster that I always have to go into a different window. I don't know. That would be nice if it would be here. I, I love that I can switch the, the, the fuse in my cockpit. I'm at 75%, drove 81 kilometers. That would mean 324 kilometers. Consumption is still 200, around 280, average speed 122. 
My heat is still on 22 and a half degrees. I tried to put it down to 20 degrees, but it got a bit cold, chilly in here. So I'm not doing that. It's perfect day. I barely have to slow down. Oh, it's starting to drip on me. Why? Is it raining? Why? Where? What, what cloud? <laughs> I'm at 47% because before I was wrong, I did it at 75%, should have done it at 42% uh, because I started with 97 and it was 183.5 kilometers that I've driven with 50% state of charge. That is 367 kilometers of full range. Consumption is still around that number. Uh, average speed is amazing. Uh, the drive here on this highway is just perfect. No trucks at all. I can just drive 135. I barely have to pass like now. Really awesome. And it's warmer too. 15 degrees when we started. It was 12 degrees outside and sunny. I put the charger in the navigation system, but I cannot see what state of charge I would arrive. It's a bit sad, it doesn't support that. I know there's a charging planner, so if you need a charger on your trip, it does that. It was one of the first cars that had that. Um, and I can see the, the elevation we're at. I love that, always like to have that. And I can see the whole trip here, and I can do different uh, trips if there would be one, but there is no there is no state of charge that it would show me. That's a bit sad. So it's 113 kilometers to the charger and I have 144 kilometers of range. At 31 kilometers of margin, we will use that. We will drive back now. And it tells me there's a hypercharger in seven kilometers. And it's true because there's Ionity. <music> I also want to talk about the things I love and dislike about this car. I don't, didn't say hate. <laughs> hate is too aggressive. There's no hate. It's dislike. <laughs> um, so the, the things I love, comfortable, quiet, I love this. Pretty easy to use when you do a few settings and you know your thing. It's pretty easy to use. You can see all of your climate all the time. I like that. Don't have to go into a menu to do that. Um, I love that it's not beeping. This car is not beeping. So when you turn on the car, you get one beep and when you put it into reverse, the trunk doesn't beep. There's a frunk with enough space. Um, even when you have self steering on and you don't steer, the beeping then, the warning is really reasonable. <laughs> so overall, it doesn't matter what you do. There's it's not a lot of noise in here with warnings and stuff. I love it, it's, it's great, I like that a lot. Then my negatives, what I dislike, and it's, it's not a lot. Number one, it feels heavy, so when you drive into corners, even in dynamic mode, and when you accelerate, even though it has 400 horsepower, it is fast, 5.6 seconds, whatever I said, for zero to 100, that is good, but it doesn't feel that way. It feels pretty, eh, are you going, what's happening? I'm not a fan that the, the boost, the maximum power is only on for a short time um, and that you have to switch to be available so that it's available when you put it in D. It's not full power, you have to switch to S, Y. Um, I don't get it. And the worst thing for me in this car is regen. It has a reasonable regen. It's not extremely strong, not at all. It's okay. But the worst thing is, every time I get into the car, I have to turn it on by myself with the pedal shifters on the steering wheel. Every time. And if this wouldn't be enough, that would be okay. And I have to press it twice because there are two settings, zero, one, and two. And there's an automatic section with a setting which is horrible. It's just off unless there's a car in front of you. That's horrible. I have to get off here. Yeah, no, and when you turn cruise control off, 
regen again is off you have to turn it back on so when you have regen on you use cruise control turn cruise control off you have to turn it back on again every time so when you're driving and there's something happening you have to use the brake you cannot just turn off your cruise control and think that you're gonna be slowed down you won't I arrived with 12%, car tells me I drove 309.6 kilometers, 271 watts uh, per kilometer consumption, average speed 125. My app, GPS app, tells me it was uh, 126, 311 kilometers, that's 1.4 kilometers an hour more. My top speed when I passed sometime at some point but and we have to pause eh? we're not driving anymore but i will look at google maps as well google maps tells me it was 311 kilometers so the car said 309 my gps uh, track whatever tracker you want to call it 310 uh, 11 and, she, and google maps 310 <laughs> so we take the middle 310 and when i take a, a drove from 97 to 12 percent that's 364 kilometers of range with a 105 kilowatt hour battery but a gigantic suv today was warm though 12 to 16 degrees i don't think the heat did too much a bit in the in the the beginning but not anymore but it was an uh, amazing drive very comfortable very nice so I'm I'm really appreciating this car now I had an old e-tron once from a dealer because Audi didn't want to give me a press call until now uh, and uh, by the way in winter tires on 20 inch winter tires so I'm okay with this consumption and it's charging with 130 kilowatt or so it will go up hopefully to the 170 I don't know if it will charge that long though but I really appreciate this car now I can see why a lot of people are driving this um, because it's just very comfortable consumption a bit higher but it's also a gigantic car understandable I drove other cars that were not that gigantic and have still have a uh, high consumption I'm impressed I liked it it gets to sum up now <laughs> because back in the day when I got the car just for five hours from a dealer I didn't like it at all but I also couldn't fiddle around with settings and everything there was no time for it so it was my fault I'm an idiot <laughs> Audi gets an approval but that's it for me thank you very much for watching take care uh, have a great day and take care bye